Yo, what is up? Um, we are way too tall. Hold on. Yeah, that's about right. Yo, how are y'all doing? I fucking sat on my fingers. Ah, I sat on my fingers by accident, but. Yeah, that's not what the video is about, alright? So, hi, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mo, and in today's video, we are doing something I guess you could call unique. An experience. We have currently... Uh, I can't talk normally, but we have fucking chat GPT open up right here. Um, This is an AI bot that anyone could really use. You just have to sign up and stuff like that. Uh, But yeah, here's the bot right here, and I just get to ask it any questions. And if you can't tell by the title or the thumbnail, right, we'll be asking it to say one negative thing about each Straw Hat member. So that includes Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, Robin, Chopper, Brooks, Frankie, Jinbei. That's all nine of them. To my knowledge, I'm not sure if anybody recent joined, but we're going to be asking them to say, not them, but the, the, the AI to say one negative thing about one of them. All right. Not one of them, but each. Yeah, I can't can speak right now but you understand what i'm saying all right but let's just see if this ai works so let's just say hi you know what i mean it says hello how can i help you today um you okay let's just say this you will be helping me do a youtube youtube video sure i'd be happy to help you with a youtube video yes okay let's just see if this bot can really say something negative so let's think of like a character that's widely hated you know what? I thought of the perfect character. Can you tell me, AI? Can you tell me one negative thing about Sakura from Naruto? Let's see. Sakura Harano is a parrot from Naruto. She's a skilled ninja and a skilled. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! All right, of Konoha 11, all right, okay? And a group member of the Konoha, okay? One negative aspect of Sasuke Terry, she can be quite confrontal and argumental at times. She can be quick to anger and lash out at others, especially when she feels that she and her friends are going. This can lead to conflict and strange relationships with teammates and other characters in the series. Another she's prone to self-doubt and insecurity. Despite her strengths and capable nature, she sometimes struggles with loss and self-confidence, which can hold her back and fully brace her own personality. But to note that these are few aspects, and overall, she's a complex and multi-faced character who has many positive traits as well. Now we know the bot is capable of lying, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah it pretty much gave us some aspects of why people don't like soccer so now let's just get into the main member of the straw hat the captain himself can you tell me one thing about monkey d luffy monkey d luffy is the main protagonist of one piece he's a young pirate captain who's on the quest to find the legendary treasure known as the one piece and become the next pirate captain when i get asked he can be quite impulsive and reckless at times he tends to act without thinking of the consequences of his actions which can lead him and his crew to get into dangerous and difficult situations this tendency towards impulsive i can't even read that word um impulsivity also means that he can be prone to making poor decisions and cannot consider the impact of his actions on others. Another aspect is that he's quite stubborn and determined, which makes him inflexible and unwilling to compromise considering other people's perspectives. Or this can lead to conflicts with his crewmates and other characters in the show. This is all true, alright? This chat is doing a great job, bro. This is 100% a bunch of flaws about Luffy and flaws that really anybody could tell about Luffy. And uh, yeah, let's now let's see his vice captain, aka the second strongest, the second greatest swordsman in the world since Mihawk is still better than him, Roronoru Zoro. What do you think this one be? I think he he like his sense of direction and him being like a, a complete idiot and you know some other things. <laughs> All right, so Roronoru Zoro is a character in the popular manga and anime series One Piece. He's a skilled swordsman and member of Monkey D. Luffy's pirate crew, the Straw Hat Pirates. One negative aspect on Zoro's character is that he could be quite prideful and stubborn at times. He takes his he takes his reputation as a swordsman very seriously. Can quite be quite competitive, which leads to conflict. He has tendencies to be stubborn, to change his mind and admit when he's wrong which can be frustrating for those around him. Another aspect is he can be quite aloof and distant at times, he tends to keep his emotions and thoughts to himself, which can make him seem cold or unfit or bad to others, all right? You can read that, I can't read it. Um, like I said, I can't read that fast and I can't read like good at all. It's important to note that these are few negative aspects of Rona Rizzo and he's overall complex and multi-faced character who has many positive traits. They say that about every character. They literally said it about one, two, three that's that's just the thing that they say now let's go with the greatest the best member of the straw hat pirates my favorite character the greatest of all time the sniper 
God Usopp. Let's get that rolling, all right? We gonna, we gonna see. There is no negative things to say about Usopp, all right? There's literally nothing. He's the greatest character of all characters. That's just factual. That's factual, dog. So, uh, yeah, we gonna go and see what they could say or think of. That would be negative aspects of Usopp, even though that's just a lie. We, we'll know. Okay, Usopp is a character in the anime series One Piece. He's a member of Monkey D. Pot Luffy as a Monkey D. Pirate. Oh my god. Of the Straw Hat Pirates. I'm reading ahead. All right. One of the negative aspect of Usopp's character is he could be quite dishonest and prone to lying. That's 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 uh, that's a lie right there. No need to lie, AI. He never lies, bro. But uh, let's continue what he say. He often tells tales and fabricates the, uh, stories to get out of difficult situations, to make himself seem important or capable. He is the tendency towards dishonesty, cause problems, conflict, or screwing with other characters. Another aspect is he be quite insecure insecure and prone to self-doubt he often lacks character confidence in his own ability he struggles to believe in himself which can hold him back from reaching his full potential this is word for word word for word bar for bar is the ai copying the ai that's how we know that this is such a dishonesty lies about my brother Usopp. that's a lie that's a lie i'm not gonna believe it so we just gonna ignore this we're gonna move on to the next member of the straw hats which will be nami okay let's see this one all right i'm quite i'm quite interested in this one all right one negative aspect of nami Nigam's character is that she's quite greedy and materialistic at times she's strong desires for wealth and luxury and this sometimes leads to her prioritizing her own financial gains over the well-being and happiness of her friend another aspect is that she uh, can be quite manipulating and cunning she's skilled at using her charm and wits to get out to get what she wants and quite calculating in her actions while this can be a useful trait as sometimes also leads to conflicts and strength relationships wow they just listed out like what nami's character sheet says bro like damn and you know of course it's important to know all uh, that these are just a few negative aspects about nami's character this was all written of course right here this last part this was all written by sanji who's a member we haven't gotten to so let's get right into him okay let's see what this pervert's profile says all right so he's served as a cook one negative aspect he could be quite rude and disrespectful towards women he has a tendency to objectify and disrespect women ain't that the opposite don't he disrespect people for women i, I don't know about that another aspect is that sanji's character is that he could be quite hot-headed and prone to anger he has a short temper and be quick to latch up on others when he's frustrated or annoyed. And this could lead to conflict and strained relationship in his crewmates and other characters in the series. I'm not sure if that second paragraph is true. I feel like they missed Q. Like he has a high respect for women that he starts to lose respect for others. Because like, I don't know how to word it, but this is so wrong, dog. That, that's just not Sanji. Like I hate Sanji personally. But that's just a lie. The lie detector determined. The next member we're going to be talking about is Frankie, the shipwright. All right, let's just go right here and let's see this. So Frankie, also known as... I'm not going to read anything. He's the shipwright. One negative aspect, Frankie, is he's quite reckless and irresponsible. Factual. He has tendencies to act out without thinking through and can lead to him and his crew getting in dangerous situations. They said the same thing about Luffy. Another aspect is that he's quite stubborn and inflexible. This is just bar for bar from Luffy's. Hell no. Hold on. You're not going to get away with that. What do you think I am? Dumb? Like, you literally said the same thing. Where's Luffy? Right here. Monkey D. Luffy. Irresponsible, reckless. Uh, he acts without thinking of the consequences. And quite stubborn and determined, which makes him inflexible and unwilling to compromise with others' perspective. Now, let's go to Frankie right here. The AI stealing bars from the AI. Like I said before. What the fuck is this? Come on, dog. You at least could have said something slightly different. I know, you know, Frankie, Luffy, kind of up there with each other, you know what I mean? But they ain't the same character, all right? Why the hell you say the same thing about Frankie? You know what? I'm going to ask you one more time. Can you tell me a negative thing about Frankie? Let's see this. So you apologize to me, first off. And then you say the same exact thing the first paragraph said. You said the same thing again, and then you summarized the second paragraph. Why? 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 I'm I'm losing my sanity over here, dog. Bro, all right, we just gonna move on. Tell me at least one negative thing about Chopper, all right? All right, we got the ship doctor right here. Let's see what they say about this. All right. <clears throat> 
one negative thing about Chopper's character is that he can be quite naive and trusting at times. He tends to believe the best in people and can easily be played by others or to action. This could lead to him making poor decisions, getting taken advantage of, more manipulative characters. Another actor, he can be quite insecure and prone to self that mad. That they say that about every single character, dog, that has the slightest bit of lack of self-esteem. You could have said something different. All right, I know uh, Chopper and Usopp's self-esteem is probably on the same level of negative five, right? But like, come on, you could have at least said something different. But the first paragraph is completely true. All right, Chopper is is prone a lot to uh, trusting people since he does believe in the best. So uh, yeah, they got that right about him and that could definitely be a negative aspect about a character. So now we're gonna move on to, what, what, do, you, what do you classify Robin as? The archeologist? The pub. Like, what do you classify? She's a fighter, but like, she's not one of the main fighters. At the same time, she has a devil fruit, dog. She's the archaeologist. You know what? Let's see what chat GPT says about Robin. Nico Robin, also known as Miss All Sunday, is a character in the popular. Okay, let's see what they say about her. So she is the archaeologist. Okay, okay, okay. One negative thing is she can be quite distant and aloof at sometimes. Ah, oh my God. You're just repeating things about Zoro now, dog. Okay, she. So she's a mix of Zoro and uh, Nami. It actually makes sense, you know? You know what? No, it makes sense. A mix of Zoro and Nami? Like half, half split personalities? But oh, that makes sense. That makes 100% sense, dog. Oh, shit, man. They got Robin on the die. Okay, now we're gonna have the ship musician. The skeleton man himself, Brooks, up next in the negative aspect territory. Uh, one negative actually he can be quite melodic and more so he has a tendency to dwell on other sad his own sadness and regrets and be quite pessimistic about the future okay this is this can be draining okay they feel they're finally saying some new things all right this can be draining for people around him and can create negative atmosphere blah blah all right another negative aspect about brooks's character he can be quite selfish time he tends to preserve prioritize his own desires and needs over the others and can be unwilling to compromise or consider the impact of his actions on others this could lead to conflict and strained relationships with his crewmates and other characters in the series i don't know if i heard that paragraph before but this is completely original and i do think this matches brooke's character oh yeah wait oh, i thought we were done with the video hold on i thought we were done with the video okay we got one more member left the newest member the fish man himself jinbei so yeah, <clears throat> Jimbei, the Knight of the Sea, is a character in the popular. Mind. So what is he? What is he? He doesn't have a role. Okay, I did not know that. One day I say he's quite stubborn and inflexible. He has strong beliefs and own conviction. And he's unwilling to consider other people's per perspectives and change his mind. Another guy I say he's quite serious or formal at times. He tends to to take his responsibilities and duties very seriously. He can be uh quite rigid in his adherence to rules and protocols. This makes him seem distant or unapproachable to those around him. I mean, that's correct from what I've watched or heard um, about Jinbei. So, yeah, uh, these were kind of accurate descriptions for all the Straw Hats. Some of them were just straight up copy and paste. Like, Frankie and Luffy were literally the same, dog. Like, are they the same character? Do you think Frankie and Luffy are the same character with different fighting strengths? That can't be true. That You can't tell me that Luffy's negative is the same as Frankie's negative. That, I'll, at least some other ones, you feel me, out here like had at least some change to it you know what i mean i had some change so yeah the ai said one negative i mean two negative things about every single straw hat i would like to thank you for watching this video my name is mo please subscribe if you enjoyed this video thoroughly you know what i mean leave a like if you really don't care that much um and i'll see you next time until the next time i post i messed up my words right there peace